Greetings, Northern Beekeepers. <clears throat> Here we are, Saturday, March 23rd. Got a little 48 degree weather. Temps are looking really great. <clears throat> bees are out cleansing. I gotta get in the hive, try to clean out some of the dead bees. Let's see what we got. Put on some pollen patties the other day. Looking really good. Okay, so uh, crack this hive open. <clears throat> we got uh, eggs right here on this third frame. I'm not going to go any further into the hive, but there are eggs. So she has started laying here in the last day or two, which is great. Get some fresh bees going. I opened up and cleaned up the bottom box. There were some dead bees on the outer frame. Everything else was looking good. I would say we got solid. Uh, eight frames of bees here these girls are looking really great greetings northern beekeepers again sorry I couldn't take you on the journey there it's kinda cold I don't have a phone holder yet for the good movies I gotta get one purchased uh, overall the hides are doing really well I was only able to break one down is to see eggs but uh, looks like the eggs are really fresh like within the last day so one queen is definitely laying uh, all the others looked really good. I had one that's basically completely full of feed yet. And another one that uh, turned out was only a 5 frame nuke. I thought I had a 10 framed double. Uh, 5 over 5. Turns out it was just 5 frames. The bottom 5 frames were empty. So it survived really well. It's looking good. So that will definitely be one I'll be breeding queens off of this year. And a couple others here look really good, so there'll also be breeder uh, breeder colonies. Probably take some uh, eggs off them and graft some queens here before too long. Um, weather this week is looking like it's mostly going to be, uh, you know, mid mid 40s, maybe a couple 50s with some rain and clouds. Um, a lot of snow on the ground yet. If you can see in the background there, a lot of snow. Uh, spring is still a couple weeks away, that's for sure. So if we just kind of walk through the hives here, starting from the west to the east, this first one here, this is the one I was able to break down and see eggs in uh, one frame. It still had dry sugar on a couple others, so I wasn't going to tear it apart too much. You know, again, uh, it is kind of chilly out today. It's only like 48, so I didn't want to get in there too much. But, you know, it's looking pretty good there with that one. Um, looks like I got the hole on the wrong spot. I have to flip that around pretty quick. This next nuke was uh, doing pretty well. Uh, not too many dead bees in the bottom. They had quite a bit of sugar and stuff on top, so I'm not going to... I didn't get in those. Um, this next one does another 8 frame. Kind of the same story, looking really good on the top. The top box was heavy when I pulled it off. The bottom box they had pretty well cleaned out. There was a little bit of feed left. I would say probably three and a half frames. Still had good feed left, so <coughs> they're gonna be in pretty good shape come springtime. Uh, this next five over five, kind of the same story. They had uh, a little bit of feed on the bottom. Not too much, but a little bit. Top box felt pretty light, but uh, I put that pollen patty and they do have some dry sugar on top. So they're in pretty good shape. This hive here, it's a tin frame. Um, I just cleaned the bottom out. And uh, that was it. I couldn't get in the top. They were getting pretty feisty. So I didn't really do much with them. I didn't bring smoke out here with me today. It was just a quick in and out. Uh, this last nuke. This was the one that uh, turned out to be only a five framer. Uh, when I put these on in the winter, I just kind of randomly grabbed three of them that it felt kind of heavy. Um, this one felt heavy going into fall. I never really looked in it, but uh, it turned out to just be a five framer. Uh, all the frames on the bottom were not drawn out. <clears throat> it was just uh, five on the top. Left them with some dry sugar for over the winter and put a pollen patty on here uh, a couple days ago. So they're looking really good. 
And uh, this last hive here, these uh, genetics, they've survived the last three years here in Wisconsin. No treatment. Uh, this last winter was the coldest uh, that they had survived. Uh, we got down to minus 31. Minus uh, 48 wind chill, I think, is as cold as we ever got. But uh, the bottom box had uh, a lot of feed left in it. Uh, I would guess maybe five frames. The top box felt super, super heavy. <coughs> I wasn't able to get into that because there's a lot of sugar left on top. But they felt really, really heavy. They barely even touched the dry sugar. So uh, these genetics here, they're an Italian. Uh, but they're doing really well here in Wisconsin. So I'm definitely going to be breeding off these girls. They're looking really good. Like I said, I haven't treated uh, this colony in three years. This last summer I pulled uh, five splits and I also got 30 pounds of honey. I did feed there starting late in the fall just to get them built up because I had taken so much from them. Um, I did pinch the queen because she wasn't performing. Uh, the new queen, she did awesome. Same genetic line, but they're doing great, so that'll definitely be a breeder colony. Otherwise, all the bees are looking really good here in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, the weekend of uh, Easter, I'll be going down to Missouri to pick up uh, my bees down there. I brought 25 hives down there. We'll see how many survived. They've kind of been left on their own since October. And we'll see what, uh, what Missouri did for those bees. But uh, this year in Wisconsin, 7 out of 7 survived. First really successful winter. Last year I only had uh, 2 out of 4. So I did something right this year. These top entrances I think really, really helped me. I had a lot of bee deaths <clears throat> that were covering the door. So I never could have got to do a cleansing flight. And uh, these top entrances, I think they did the trick for me this year. And as you can see, I did put some of that 2-inch uh, pink polyborer between the frames to help with the insulation. I got a concrete blanket on the back side that I double wrapped. Also put some insulation on top. Got a nice little windbreak here with some plywood and particle board. So I hope this uh, did the trick this year. We'll try it out again next year. See what happens. So far this beer is looking uh, looking great to start. Can't wait to get going.